Hello, I'm the Budget Mother, and this is episode 7 of my Seata, Fokker DR1 and Red Baron build. If you're watching this then, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Today, we're going to be opening a Tamiya bottle with a pair of large pliers, mixing the paint with a tattoo ink shaker, it's the same as a model paint shaker, but about 50 quid cheaper. And next, we're going to paint some wheels. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Well, maybe not just yet. I seem to have found a seam that I missed. So, let's knock that back first, shall we? There we go, that's the seam knocked back. Now to get on with painting the wheels. Here I've got my homebrew black brown washout. I'm going to utilise a little trick I picked up. Can't remember where I saw it. Somewhere. Anyway, what I'm going to do is run the wash around the wheels, letting capillary action take it all the way around, which means I don't have to worry about painting tight into the wheel rims. I just let the wash do it. So. Let's crack on with this, shall we? There we have that done. Now we can paint the tyres, so let's get those cracked. There we have the tyres painted. They're looking good. That trick certainly worked a treat, didn't it? Next up, we need to clean up some of the surfaces as we had a couple of little dribbles from when we were spraying. And we also need to paint the top wing as I forgot to do it. So let's get that cracked, shall we? cleaned up and ready for another coat of red. So let's get this spraying prepped and sorted shall we? Here we go.
Well, that is hopefully the last coat of red we're going to do. That was a change. I used Humbrol's Red Arrows Red number 238. Next up, we're painting the metal parts of the wing struts. I'm using Vallejo Metallic Air 71.062 aluminium with a nice, fine, pointy brush. So, here we go with that. Well, that's those all done. <clears throat> Psst, oi, you missed a bit. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Where? There, you muppet. Oh, yeah, so I did. Why don't you tell me sooner? I've put all the kit away. Now I'm going to have to get it all out and do it again. Thanks. Let's get this sorted. Sorry about that, little technical hiccup there. Anywho, we've got that sorted. Now, on to gluing the Red Baron together. So let's get that done. There we go, that's the Baron glued and clamped. We'll pop him to one side to dry. Next up, we're going to paint the step up silver and put the guns together. So, let's crack on with those, shall we? There we go, that's the guns fitted. Looking not too shabby at all. Next up, we have the tail skid to be fitted and then we're gonna remove all the clamps from the Red Baron, Ra Ra Baron, and give him a good old tidy up. those done and this baron is looking pretty good as it's coming together I'll redo the blue max medal later 
Next up, we're going to give the whole plane some interest. We'll give it some speckling with this uh, doodad, or whatever it's called, stencil. That's the word. So, let's crack on with that. that's those done what a pain in the ass that was you saw how often i had to test the paint that was a nightmare also gotta apologize about the wobbly camera that's my compressor i'm gonna have to move that somewhere else to stop that now to start fitting parts to the model first we're going to do this step up we'll clean it up fit it then glue it then the anti-roll skids under the lower wings again clean those up fit it and glue them so Let's get those cracked, shall we? those parts fitted nice looking good now for the four wing struts so let's crack on get them cleaned up fitted and glued in situ here we go those done as well as the fuselage struts and all are looking really good next up we have a dry fit of the tailplane so let's see how that looks that didn't take long did it and not quite happy with that it needs some work on it so up next we're going to take the masking off the engine so let's do that i do like taking masking off There we have the masking off, and I'm happy with that, looks pretty good. Now we're going to fit the wheels on, then after that we'll fit the ailerons onto the upper wings. So let's get that cracked. There we go, that's the wheels and ailerons fitted satis. So, this seems like a good a place as any to end. Thank you for watching this extended episode 7. If you want to see what happens in episode 8, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.